Look at this Barbados cherry tree. What is it about cherry pie and the 4th of July that go together? I, I know they're not Bing cherries. Y'all don't need to tell me. But, oh my goodness, having fun. I saw a lady on social media that was making a cherry jam out of her Barbados cherries. I don't know how good that works. I think we're going to try it. There we go. Look at them all. I don't know, maybe a pound, two pounds, two pounds of cherries. Ooh. Some of them were almost past the peak. Some of them a little bit under. But uh, I think we did okay. We might be able to get a jar or two worth of jelly out of it or jam, whatever it calls for. I gotta go look up the recipe. Ooh, Ooh it's a bloody mess. <laughs> not, not really smart, but it looks successful. Your sugar should match how much uh, cherry juice that you have. So there we go. Now we got to um, remove any foam. I don't see any foam. Let's bring it to a rolling boil again for two minutes. Starting to boil. You're starting to see a little bit of that film on top too. Once you get it off, it doesn't usually come back. Strawberries also do this. Oh, just about all your fruit will do foam. Your tomatoes will do a foam as well. If you ever make homemade tomato sauce. So you can just kind of pull it over to the side and then get it scooped up the best you can. Yeah, okay, so definitely we're starting our timer now for the two minutes of bubbling. Make sure that we keep the bottom stirred up, otherwise that sugar will burn. The heat's off. Let's take that off the eye. Maybe I'll prepare for just a few extras. I'll pop them in as close as I can together. And put these liquid, I mean, uh, put these lids in the hot water just to boil them, warm them, whatever I gotta do with them. Okay, now we're gonna get rid of, ready for our, our jam. Fill it to a quarter inch off the top, run a knife or thin spatula down the side to make sure the air bubbles are removed. Wipe the rims of the jar with a moist towel, or I use white vinegar to remove food residue. Top the lids, screw on the rings, and then we'll, we got our water bath about to start. Well, it is starting. Look at the jam already falling. It's like coming apart. Wow, that was really easy to make. Hold on. It's probably like the foam is jellified. Jellified? <laughs> it's okay. 
but we got to oh, it's setting. Um, this is definitely setting. Hold on. So I'm getting my vinegar. We're going to definitely, okay, put these aside. Clean off. Yeah, clean off that rim. That is so good. Tastes like any other cherry to me. Mm. All right, we have another one. So this is number seven. How about that? So this is pineapple, and I'm gonna call it marmalade. It's, a, it's jam of sorts. So I took my pineapple uh, I had two cups of pineapple sitting in the fridge. So anyhow, I, I put that in the Ninja and it blended up two cups of pulp, a half a cup of orange juice, two teaspoons of lemon juice, and hold on. Now we will throw in one and a third or three quarters, excuse me, one and three quarters of the Sure Gel. This is me just experimenting in the kitchen, y'all. Well, the cherry jam recipe was an actual recipe, but I, as far as the pineapple part, man, that's just me playing around. We're gonna see if we can make this work. I was so busy canning tomatoes and other things earlier this spring that I I didn't have a chance to make like my strawberry jams and blueberry jams and, and all that. So, okay, here we go. The pectin is stirred in. Oh! <laughs> Let's get that piece out of there. Perhaps it's something bad. Sorry, I was talking along and didn't realize the camera wasn't on. So what I did was I've already skimmed it. It looks like it could use a little bit more skimming. I added two cups of sugar to equate to the two cups of pineapple pulp, and then I, um, I'm in the two minute boiling, oh, I guess I'm done now with the two minutes of boiling. Okay, and then my little trick that I'm going to do, hold on, let me get that off, is I'm going to add some of them to be plain pineapple marmalade, let me turn that heat off now that we're at two minutes. And then some of them are gonna get my pumpkin spice jalapeno in it. I thought my son may really get a kick out of that. Okay, so let's back up the camera. Okay, in this back row, we're gonna add a little bit of our pumpkin spice jalapeno right there at the bottom. So it should be easy to distinguish the jars, but I'm also gonna label them. Be certain to label your jars, everybody. This is also setting up, but not quite as fast as the other. Oh. Okay, let's just go for it. I'm making a mess on my counter. Whoops, I'm supposed to be a quarter cup. That might be a little high there. Smart. Robert's not using smart technique today. And I forgot to debubble earlier, although I doubt, I highly, highly doubt there's any air bubbles in these. I'll just show the technique though. You would run it around, try to get the air bubbles out. It's This is so liquidy, there's no air bubbles in here. 
Okay, so that yielded six quarter pints. Let's get some cleaning of the rims and wrap this puppy up. Put an H for hot.